My first Walter. Nope. For a guy who's never caught Walters before, I think I'm doing okay. It's a better size. Hey, we're back. We're finally doing a fishing trip video. So this is one of my take me fishing videos where you guys get to come along with me and uh, and go fishing while I try and figure stuff out. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We've not done this yet on this channel. Uh, and that's actually, we're going to go walleye fishing. And I'll be honest with you, it wasn't a planned walleye fish. I originally was going to go to Kuching and do some bass. Uh, but when I got to the ramp, I noticed it was just chock full of boats. So I decided last minute uh, to go to Lake St. John, which I had been to earlier in the day with the family. Um, so all I had to work on really was a very, very quick view of the Navionics map that I took at lunch. We decided to head down and, and check it out. Getting wet. It's the only downside to this lunch here. You gotta go in. Now, the only other thing, actually, it's not all that good. Because you're just banking. You're just banking your boat here in the gravel and hoping it doesn't float away. This is my first, my first, I hope I'm recording here. Yes, because this is my first Walter. My first Walter. The one thing I probably <laughs> should have known was don't lift the fish up, you know, with light fluorocarbon line, so. I had to retie once, but I learned my lesson. I really want to put this in the video. This is me actually increasing the depth shading on my map. Uh, to show where I am currently positioned in the boat and not snagging weeds with my lure. It really put me on that weed edge. You know, for a guy who's never caught Walters before, I think I'm doing okay. If I can get the hook out. Look at that, that little, that little Rocky Madsen bait. Catch my Walters. Again, I've never caught Walters before. I am so excited. Awesome. So you can see me pulling weeds off my bait and that's exactly where those weeds started. So now I just make another cast right near where I last cast next to the weeds and start hopping it back.
size. Look at that guy. That is a good size walleye. Oh, down he goes. Let's talk a little bit about what we're using. Um, it kind of blocked the wind if I can. We're just using finesse minnows. These are the Rocky Madsen minnows. This one's beat up. Uh, I'm using something bright today because the uh, the water is super stained. So I'm using something bright. Now this guy is all bent up. That's the problem with gold hooks. Ah, we could probably still use it. Um, just cheap little. I mean, the paint's coming off. Nothing fancy. Gold hook, and we're just threading it on. Ten. 10 to 7 feet roughly and we're just working a weed line i'm super proud of myself for coming together with this plan by the way so let's take a look at what else we got i'm really digging the pink so i'm going to keep going with the, the pink or the orange i guess in this case literally just threading it on and these are super 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 soft by the way Make sure that you're threading it right side up. You don't want to thread it upside down because you'll never hear the end of it. Trust me. <laughs> All right, let's put this in the water, see what else we can get. upset about these I'm kind of looking for them what I'm doing and I don't know if it's right what I'm doing is I'm finding those weeds once I find those weeds I start hooking into them I back off a little bit and then I just cast right to where those weeds used to be just fishing the weed line I don't know if you guys can hear the party over there <laughs> these grandma folks they sure know how to party all right, so that is it. I was hoping to catch one more fish for you guys just before we closed up, but it didn't happen. So we're closing up. I'm gonna get back to shore, and then uh, if you want, we can talk about kind of what we used and how we presented it. We'll see. Check out this view. Though.